This is what I call the poor man's alignment. Okay, what I have is a jack stand here, and you can see it a kite string running all the way down to another jack stand. What you do is you measure from the center of your wheel to the kite string, make sure it's 10 inches. Same thing on this side. That way you have a parallel line to work from. And then I'll show you the next step after I get the other side set up. Okay, to visualize what's going on underneath my wheel well, I have my old power steering gearbox here, and I've put one of the um, old, well, tie rod ends on it. Anyway, as you can see, you have a tie rod on the end, you have the nut securing it, and then you have the tie rod itself. So the way you adjust it is you have to break loose the nut and spin it out of the way a little bit. Now the tie rod end is permanently attached to the strut, so it doesn't move. But you can rotate the entire tie rod and it threads in and out of the tie rod end. So if you're going this direction, you're pushing the tie rod out, well the tie rod end out, and if you go this direction, you're pulling the tie rod end in. And this is how you adjust your alignment. And once you're done with that, you just put the nut back secure with the big wrench again. But of course, you have to hold the tie rod and uh, tighten the nut. Because otherwise, I think it just moves the entire thing. Yeah, because you want to keep this still while you're tightening this nut. Otherwise, this nut could just rotate the entire bar and throw your alignment back off again. Okay, you can see I added a couple pieces of hardboard with some grease between them underneath the tire. I have the same on the other side. This is to make it so that the wheel will spin real easily. And I made sure that my steering wheel was straight up and down centered so that uh, we can begin. Now the procedure goes as follows. What you do is you measure the back of the rim to the kite string. And I can see that it's just under 10 inches. Now we do the front of the rim to the kite string and I can see it's just over 10 inches. So that means this wheel is going in by probably an eighth of an inch. So I have to adjust it accordingly. And as luck would have it, all of my hardware is right there. So it ought to be easy to reach. Okay, so I have adjusted this tire. Let's double check the center. It's pretty good. I have adjusted this to be roughly 10 and 30 seconds, but I'm working on the other side and I keep bumping the tire. <sighs> so I need that to be just over 10. And I need this to be just over 10. Excellent. Now we go and check the other side, which is the side I'm currently trying to adjust. And we see what it has. We are looking at oh, 10 and just under a 16th. 10 and just under a 16th. So I would say this is as straight as I'm going to get it with my poor man's alignment. Now all I have to do is tighten up all of my tie rod ends and take it for a test drive. Okay, so the next step in the poor man's alignment, the road test. So, what did I discover from the road test? I found out that my car didn't want to track exactly straight forward. What it was, it was either going slightly left or slightly right, and it was very hard to force it to go straight. So what that told me was my tires were not parallel, but uh, one was off. So it would either track this tire or that tire, but it wouldn't go straight. So I made an adjustment and brought the other tire back in line, and now things are much more, I guess, tracking straight forward. So now, the next, the next piece of information I got is, you can see we're going down a straight road, but the steering wheel is tilted slightly to the right. That tells me that both of my tires are pointing slightly to the left. So if I just simply adjust both tires the same amount, probably one third of a turn of each tie rod would do it. It should bring the steering wheel back straight again. Time to make some final adjustments. I've got two wrenches here. The big one is to get the nut loose off of the, uh, well, it's the tightening nut for the tie rod end. 
And then the smaller wrench is simply to rotate the tie rod itself. And as luck would have it, all I need to do is rotate my wheel in and I can touch my tie rod end. So all I need to do is loosen that nut. Now I gotta think about it, the nut tightens this way, so it loosens this way. So I gotta push down in order to get that loose. So let's find it. There it is. And then cracked. Okay, so now that's loose. Now, my tires are aimed slightly to the left, and I want to rotate them slightly to the right. So that means since my tie rod end is on the back side of the wheel assembly while the back side of the strut, I need to twist it out to push the back side over. So to twist it out, I need to pull down with the little guy here. So here we go, and I'm gonna go two, two sixths of a turn. One, and if I can get it on there again, two. Now while holding that, I have to re-tighten that big nut. So here we go, let's hold on to this little guy if we can. And then we gotta get this big one in there. Let's see if we can do this all. It's a lot easier to do this laying on the ground, but I don't feel like getting wet as we just had a rainstorm. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. Okay, this side is done. Now, we just rotate the steering wheel to do the other wheel. Okay, now, let's see, to get that nut loose, uh, I forget which way it is, tighten and loosen, so I'm going to pull up. Okay, the nut is loose. Now, since this wheel was tilted this way, I need to pull it in a bit. So to pull it in, I need to thread it this way. So once again, I'm pushing down on the back side of the tie rod. So let's go two sixths. Let's see, that's, well, I gotta loosen that nut a little better. Darn it, it's still too tight. There we go. Now we got to come down two sixths on the tie rod itself. There's one sixth and two sixths. Now I have to tighten that nut again. So once again, I am pushing down on the nut. I believe so. Yeah, that tightens. And I have to make sure that the tie rod does not move during this operation. So I have to hold the other wrench on there. Okay, let's see here. Tricky work, but I can get it done. Okay, so there's that, there's that, and move that down. Okay, the big nut was quite loose. I'm going to have to readjust the wrench and do it again. There we go. Okay, so they're both tight now. So, I have adjusted both tires from here to here. So we should be good to go.